All right. Yep. I hope you all can see the progress. Um, I gotta figure out those arms down here. I gotta figure out how to attach them because they are built for John Deere, so therefore they're designed for this, obviously. But I'm thinking, got a hole right here. There's one on the other side that matches it. I'm gonna drill it bigger to fit. These are a bit long, but I don't really care about them being long. Well, maybe I do. I, mean, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But some are long, some are short. This bag was already bagged up. I just went ahead and grabbed it. So I thought, why not? But I'll work it out where this sits up in here like so. And that holds that right there. But the front end has to go like I know that this arm right here raises this but I gotta do something different here to make this kind of set up higher on a pivot which I think I can build and take some angle iron I got and cut it and bolt it come down here somehow somehow some way to hold it in place kind of I don't see these arms being every everything it has I could be wrong and it might hold it but I don't know but I mean I can see this pivoting down and it digging into the ground more than the actual blade does the blade is adjustable three different ways, left, right, straight, and in the John Deere, it's that thick steel, not that cheap crap that you buy at Lowe's or whatever. It's actually a good product, and it's an old, old blade anyhow. still has a serial number on it, in fact. Uh, I traded a 15-horse engine for it, so... Yeah. I originally won 20 bucks for it. That blade's probably worth 7500 maybe. Um, I would have gave more than 20 bucks for it. But also, the engine, I mean, it got good compression, but I can't get it fired, but I need to put a gas tank on it anyhow. That's part of the problem there. And a lot of the odds and ends, I gotta put a pulley back there on the truck transmission. And but yeah, there it is. I'll have more for you here in a little bit. I don't like recording and working on it at the same time really. I mean I'll show some stuff, just not a whole lot. But more to come. I meant to show you guys this too. This is a it's a wheelbarrow, obviously, but I painted it to match the tractor. I want to build a little trailer frame underneath it. Probably put a lot more wheels. Or actually, I was thinking probably using these wheels. I think they look pretty tight. You know, they're just for pulling. I mean, they ain't going to be actually driving itself, but I think it's just kind of neat. Probably set more back here, or if anything, I can still treat it like a wheelbarrow in a sense if I have to. So, but yeah, no, I mean, just extra. Like I said, this started out being a pulling tractor for my nephew, and it still is. It's just right now I got ready stuff for winter and then spring and prepare for the next year and then start all over again. But yeah, anyhow, more to come. Alright, yeah, a little tab was in the way. It's hot. I had to use my cutting wheel to cut it off. I don't have a torch or anything like that. I think I said that once before. But, anyhow. So, what I've done is taking crap. Oh, okay. Alright, that's it. Still a layer of it, but it'd be alright. 
take this. There we go. Now, I'll give you some footage up close. I'm gonna, it'll be shaky because I shake, but it'll work. So, just bear with me, I'll get it for you. and socket set up. Eh, kind of jacked up looking I'm sure and it might hold and it might not. I don't know. I don't see why it wouldn't. If anything I can put another piece in here and just weld it all together and make it complete. But I like this idea because I can remove the plow. If I weld something in here I won't be able to remove it unless I can do like this. Set a piece in here maybe. But I don't know. Well, since I got camera right here that old motor this original motor for it but damn thing won't start and gas tank of course is off it was rusted completely out and 
I mean, I put vinegar in it and whatever. I tried everything to try to clean it up, but it just wasn't helping. So, I figure what I'll do is, on the other side, I'm going to use this, gonna use this plastic tank, I think. I'm going to build brackets for it to sit on on the other side. Maybe it might sit on this side, actually. It'd probably be better on this side since there ain't no pedal here. But, anyways, yeah, that's it for now. Oh, oh I was going to show you this pulley. That's where the pulley goes. I got to get one still. I got one somewhere. I just got to find it. Too much junk laying around. So, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that hoorah, or just say hell with it. It don't matter to me. I'm just doing it for the hell of it anyhow.